Without the models that they're tuned for, these constants would have no physical meaning to us. And we do not really know whether they're arbitrary or necessary, or whether they're really separate things at all. They may very well be unified by an underlying structure that we cannot yet describe. Now, I could say that expressing surprise at being allowed to exist in a universe in which you are capable of expressing surprise at being allowed to exist is <laughs> painfully tautological. I could raise the objections from research scientists whose work has revealed that variability of apparently fundamental parameters of nature can still yield stable, potentially life-supporting universes. I could invoke the possibility of our universe being one of many in a multiverse so extensive that the probability of life-supporting universes existing approaches one. I could explore some of the reasonable extensions to models which can actually solve fine-tuning problems, for example inflation in cosmology or supersymmetry in particle physics. I could even wax hypothetical about completely unrecognizable forms of intelligent life which might evolve in a more hostile or less active universe. Any of these responses could be taken as grounds to dismiss the creationists' fine-tuning argument as readily as its proponents accepted. A probability analysis with a sample size of one is meaningless. We have one real universe to analyze. If we could be sure of the existence of any number other than one, we could start to talk about probability. Until then, it's all a bunch of pine cones. Said, uh, make a dot on a piece of paper and let that be the universe. Make it a red dot, and that is our universe. Now he says, alter slightly some of these constants like the proton neutron mass ratio or the strength of the weak force or the expansion of the universe and let that be a new universe and if it's life permitting make it a red dot 
If it's life prohibiting, make it a blue dot. And then alter them again and make another dot. And then alter it again and another dot. And you just keep doing this, altering these constants slightly. And until your paper is filled with universes or filled with dots. And what you discover is that you have a sea of blue with just a few pinpoints. Can't an omnipotent God create an infinite variety of life-supporting universes by definition?